more lithium salvaging from an old Dell XPS 13. 11 and a half volts. I'd say like 2010? Nine? I don't know. Let's check it out though. You gotta be careful when you're opening these plastic packs up because um, obviously you don't know where really the contacts are. So what I would suggest is using some sort of insulated screwdriver or pliers, or if you're not using anything insulated, then uh, you can put some gloves on, but these are insulated screwdrivers. A Dremel would be good, but that makes a frickin' mess. Alright, I finally got in here. <laughs> These are LGDB118650. Uh, Todd Wall did there. Let's see, there's the protection circuit. LED. There's the LED checking light if I push that down. You'll see right now it's testing and it says, oh, oh no, it's totally dead. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Someone's at the door. Snip the, because these, this is going to have current coming through it. So I'm going to snip the positive and negative. Okay. Got rid of that. So that would go from negative, negative, positive, so negative, positive, negative, positive, eh? wait, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. What's up, Rocky? I should be able to disconnect this thing now. More power coming through there. Always cautious though, because I have electrocuted myself in the past. And tape. So let's remove this tape. This laptop got quite a bit of use. So. Okay. So the only problem with the with these spot welding tabs is that if you want to reuse them, you kind of got to grind down. Well, if you're gonna if you're gonna tab weld them again, you got to get these little spiky pieces off. Anyway, so I usually just end up grinding, just grinding some of that down with uh, with a Dremel or something, just to to even it out, flatten it out. I don't know. There seems to be multiple uh, links to these and. Because these are so old, they may have just reused, I mean, they might still use that that number, but uh, I don't know. They look like they might be 24 or 26 milliamp hours. So let's check, let's check the voltage on that, see what's going on here. If there's any dead cells or anything like that. 3.8. 3.8. No way. 3.8. 3.8. Oh, no. 3.8, 3.8, 3.8. So you know what this means, right? This means that they're all 3.8 volts, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they have good capacity. But their voltage is indicative of that they're still pretty good. Okay, so I was able to, I think I was able to connect all the batteries here in parallel they're just sitting on top of magnets so the positives down here the negatives up here well, let's just let's let that charge up 